Hi guys, today we're going to be making some pocket volcanoes and we're going to be making them with some household ingredients so you guys can make them at home whenever you want. So the ingredients we're going to use are just some water here, just some tap water is fine. We've also got some oil, this is just a normal cooking oil, it will work fine too. We've got some food colouring here, I've got a blue, a yellow and a green, but whatever your colour you've got, it's just going to change the colour of your volcano. And the last thing we've got is little Alka-Seltzer tablets. Now these Alka-Seltzer tablets are the trickiest part of this experiment. So what's going on in these tablets is we have two chemicals that are going to react. A sodium bicarbonate and a citric acid. Now an acid and a carbonate react to release carbon dioxide. And what that carbon dioxide is going to do is it's going to model what happens inside a volcano just before an eruption takes place. What we're going to show is magma and convection currents. So to start us off, we've got our little test tube here. This is going to be our pocket volcano. And I've filled it half, just under half, with water. I'm going to pick uh, a blue for this experiment. And this food colouring is just going to change the colour of the water, as you would expect. Now, we don't usually have blue magma, but in this experiment, we will. Now, on top of this blue magma, and you can see that water changing colour now, we're going to put our cooking oil. Now, why we use cooking oil and water in this experiment is because oil and water have different densities. That's really important for the reason we're going to see right now. As you can see in front of me here, that oil is sitting on top of the water. And the reason is that oil is less dense than water. So our water sits below. We've got our barrier here with our little blue food coloring and our oil sitting on top. Now the last thing we need to add is that Alka-Seltzer tablet. And this is our chemical reaction. Now I said this was going to model what happens inside a volcano. But what we're going to see is the bubbles of carbon dioxide forming from that acid and carbonate reaction, bubbling up through our water and bringing our blue water up through our oil. Inside the center of the earth, we have our molten magma. And our molten magma helps to move these things called tectonic plates around on the surface of the earth. So when these tectonic plates rub up against each other or push or pull apart or go underneath each other, an enormous amount of energy is released. Now that energy, when particular things happen between those two plates, is enough to move that magma through a thing called convection currents up to the surface of the Earth. Now, if enough pressure builds up, enough energy is released, then we get this magma bubbling up through the crust and we see a volcanic eruption. So back to our pocket volcano, I'm gonna put this Alka-Seltzer in and it is gonna cause that chemical reaction to happen and bubble up through our oil. I might just put a lid on this so we don't lose any of our magma. Now what you can see here is that blue magma, the food coloring and water, is bubbling up through our oil. Now that relies on the different densities we were just talking about, but as you can see, it's bringing that magma up to the top where the bubbles pop, gas is released, and then it falls back to the bottom. The energy released and the gas released from the chemical reaction forces this to happen just like what would happen inside a volcano. Now, if I kept adding Alka-Seltzer tablets and kept adding more energy and more gas to this pocket volcano, we might actually see it erupt and blow this cap off the top. Just like what happens inside a volcano, the more magma we add and the more energy we add, the more likely we are to see a volcanic eruption. But don't worry, I haven't put enough Alka-Seltzer in this one for it to explode. So you can safely put this one in your pocket and take it home with you. So come down to the Australian Museum for the Science in the City Community Days. You can grab your pocket volcano, see some VR, there's forensic science to do, natural history and geology. There's so much to see and do, and I'm sure you'll find something to interest you.